Have you seen people who have, quote, supposedly made it, and we won't mention any names, sure. but that feel like they haven't made it? And that really making it, you never really assume that you've made it, that it's really one job to the next, some dry spells, some yeah. failures, a success. That making it is, re there's not really like, oh, this is, oh yeah, that's textbook making it right here. Right, right, right. That's a great question. Um, I don't know about, uh, I mean, I don't know about other people, but I know it in myself. I definitely know it in myself. I think that I am still thinking about like making it. I don't know about other people because I, I, I haven't really spoken. To, I mean, I have friends of mine who are, you know, classically big successful filmmakers, but I've never heard them talk about that they don't think they've made it. Maybe they have. I mean, I, I think when you're ambitious and you're shooting for something, um, maybe you never really see what you have attained, you know? And I think that, you know, for someone like myself, I, I know that there have been plenty of times, even recently, where I've been like, you know, jealous of somebody else's success or feeling like I got screwed and didn't get to make enough movies or didn't get the kind of budgets I felt I deserved or things like that. And it, it really takes somebody outside, like my wife going, you know what, you know, like when you, you know, you're, you're being, you know, you're whining about, you know, your poor me, but think about how many people would like, you know, cut off their arms to have done what you did. And, and sometimes it takes that kind of, that kind of bucket of cold water to go, yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. You know, I'm the luckiest guy on earth. But I think that the ambitious person is constantly looking to the next thing anyway. So if you're satisfied with what you've done, maybe you're not going to even do the next thing. You can just kind of go, well, I did it, you know? But the thing that drives, I think, creative people is this need to keep doing it. So in a way you keep kind of can almost like canceling out, you're forgetting what you did because it's not enough anyway. And I think about that sometimes, it's interesting. I think about that sometimes, it's like you, we spend all this time gearing up and thinking about it and then finally making the thing and then that's gonna be over. And then shortly after that, you're kind of like, okay, now I gotta, I'm not happy. I gotta do it. I gotta do another thing. Um, I remember seeing in that great documentary, it came from Kuchar about George and Mike Kuchar. And George Kuchar, the great experimental independent filmmaker, is making some crazy project. And he's, they're, they're filming him putting the last touches on the editing. He makes the last cut. And as soon as he does the last cut, he goes, now I'm depressed. I gotta, I gotta make another movie. You know, and it's almost that immediate. It's almost like, it's the back to the drug addict thing. It's like you need that thing. So I think that contributes to a lack of perspective, which I know I've had, where I'm just so concentrated on what I need to do next to make, to fulfill whatever it is, that I've forgotten that I've done some things that I should be happy with and be like, yeah, you know, you, you, you managed to accomplish that. That's good, you know? So I think that's, maybe that's more typical than, than not, I don't know. So maybe in some ways that's a good quality to have to kind of like almost like forget about your success a day after it happens. Yeah. Because then it's going to keep you going to the next. Because if you're so. too happy about it, then that's it. You don't yeah. need anything else. Yeah, I think it's going to be a nice balance. I think that if in the time where you're not getting, when, when things are falling apart, like even if you've only made one movie or short and you're struggling to make the next thing and you feel like it's never going to happen, you should still be able to hopefully call upon what you have done. Even if it's just writing, having written the screenplay, you can say, you know what? I accomplished that. That was not easy. That not everybody can do that. That's something to be like, to feel good about while I worry about that I'm not making the next thing. Like if you can, if you can take that, that information and use that to support yourself and like take care of yourself, um, I think that's a healthy thing to remember um, as opposed to just being in a constant state of want or, or a constant state of I don't have and I must be like a junkie again who's just waiting to get, get well. You know, it's like you, in a way, you almost need to remember what you have accomplished and use that as a, as a buoy or something to, to, to lift yourself up when you, when you do have those dry spells which are frequent. You know, most of us never get to make a movie every year or every two years or every, even every three years. You know, it, it, it takes a lot of time and you have to have something to sustain yourself other than misery that you're just not making a movie. So, I don't know, it's a good question. It make, makes me think about it, you know. I gotta stop whining sometimes. <laughs>